Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hopefully everyone's doing well. So today I want to capture on film. I'm a bit shy because this can go either way. It can go great or it's gonna be a disaster. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna try to fix my plumbing problems. I don't know why I put quotes on that. Um, I just recently changed my washing machine and if you know, if you haven't changed your washing machine in a while, what happened is with the uh, cock of the tap, the tap that you use to, you know, to access the water for your washing machine, it started dripping and this is a very common problem, um, you know. Even the guy that installed my washing machine basically said, you know, once you usually, usually once you change your washing machine, your tap will start dripping. It's not the washing machine, it's the tap. You have to change the tap. So that's what I'm going to do or attempt to do today. And so I bought a few things from Bunnings. So I bought this, which is a kinetic machine washing machine cock. So this one is, and I bought two because you know you need to have one. These are the last two that were available inside in Bunnings. So these two cost. Uh, so these two cost thirteen dollars fifty each. So twenty seven dollars for both. And I have, so yeah, oh, oh, this is nice. I just popped up open the thread open seals and it's pink. How pretty is that? I know I get overly excited about the colors. Hey, we do art <laughs> for a living. Um, so yeah, so let's go and try it. We need to open this first. I'm turning off the water. That's how you know the water is out. So I had to go back to Buddings to get these because apparently I can't open the uh, washing machine tap without a proper spanner so I'm gonna give it a go with these this is 30 bucks uh, from Buddings but I think there is one also for $20 it's called uh, Basin Wrench or I think if you're in a different part of the world it's called Tap Wrench um, I'm just on my way back home so that I can give it a go again. Okay. How do you lock this? Oh my god, it's moving! It's moving! Okay. Oh, I cannot believe it moved. It wasn't moving before. I was using this tiny bit. So there's a bit of water there. Okay. 
So this is where I started to find out that I am, I think I broke the wrench because uh, it started not working when I start doing this, uh, the hot water tap one. So this is where I found out that apparently you have to turn off the two main valve. So I didn't know that there were two main valve for the water. Uh, so I thought I would just need it to empty it out uh, and wait. Uh, but apparently I was wrong. So I attempted to wait it, the tap to empty itself out oh by God. using this uh, by using this opened. basin otherwise uh, um okay apparently i have to turn off the i have to turn off hot water So by this stage, uh, the wrench has stopped being effective and I had difficulty in actually doing this with the tap, with the, with the hot water ones and uh, it was basically a lot of elbow grease. I had to do a lot of, uh, I had to use a lot of muscle basically to do this uh, and to figure out whether it's going to turn or not. So uh, I recommend if you want to do this by yourself, make sure you get a quality uh, basin wrench or at least like maybe get two basin wrench when you are uh, buying one uh, just in case the first one broke like mine. Um, is it worth that $30? No, I wish that I had bought the uh, $20 ones. Um, anyway, here is me just trying to install the the new uh, washing machine tap uh, I just sealed it off first using the thread seal so this was very difficult for me to put on especially because the basin wrench by this time by this stage was basically is unaffect is not effective at all it's like seriously not effective and I was having difficulty turning this and i just had to use a lot of muscle power like before as i said and i kind of managed to do it and it's um i don't know i feel like i'm convinced actually so i have to turn this i think i made a mistake with this one i turn it too far to the right so i have to turn it back down so that the uh, hose uh, is facing downwards but the wrench was really failing me by this stage and so as you could see before I was basically just wrestled it with my with my arms uh, so by this stage it was really not working and I was like thinking whether I should go back to Bunnings to grab a new basin wrench or not or maybe I could get my money back I wasn't sure but I kind of make do and I have to grab the head of the base uh, of the wrench so that it would it would grasp 
the uh, tab uh, better and I don't know I somehow managed to make do with that so I turned on the top the main tap so let's see if it's still leaking oh no it's still leaking what am I gonna do so I added silicon tape water coming out should be all good I need to call a plumber actually I really do <laughs> don't do this at home just call someone so I'm doing a test I'm doing a test run to see if this is going to be okay or not So this is a half spin ceramic valve so if I turn it there that's half so if I turn it there that's full okay is everything okay So I'm doing this because in the past what happened was when I turn off the settings or I change the settings, um, water would overflow from there so just trying to see if it's going to happen or not. Pretty okay so far. I think that's the best I can expect for now. So yeah, that's it guys. So I'm doing my second round of laundry and I double down on using the silt uh silt threads. The silt tapes, which is this one. And it seems to be okay. It seems to be holding up well. There is no leakage. And I also unscrew the hose and then reattach it just to double check whether it was not like screwed on properly. So I did that. So this is the second, the second time I'm doing the laundry for today. The first load is already in the dryer. So, so far, so good. Um, yeah, so that's the end of this. The end of this DIY, guys. Just hire a licensed plumber, to be honest. It's not worth the headache. <laughs> Unless you are really, really poor like me. <laughs> Just hire a plumber. <laughs> So I think overall I spent maybe about seventy dollars today, um, including the uh, the taps, uh, the new taps and the th the threads, and I have to buy a new wrencher. So it's about seventy eighty dollars all up, um, and then you also have to put in your guts and your courage <laughs> into it and your elbow grease. Um, if you call a plumber, that's probably going to cost you, I think, a good $300, not including your materials, but you probably will get some peace of mind, kind of, I guess. And if, you know, because if you don't, if they don't do it properly, you can always call them back, say, hey, mate, you didn't do this properly, will you please come back and, you know, just do it, and I can't pay you more because you didn't do it properly the first time, or something like that, I don't know. <sighs> 
anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.